Calling it a major shift in policy, those on both sides of the movement to change the way bail is handled in the state testified before a legislative committee today. Bail, the amount of money paid or promised for release by someone accused of a crime, could be drastically altered or even eliminated under a current Senate bill. This legislation is to add a little more nuance to our bail statute so that judges aren't holding people unknowingly simply because they don't have the money to meet bail. The focus of the proposal is people who simply don't have a small amount of cash available for their freedom, even if they aren't deemed a threat to themselves or others. One of the bill's sponsors says the consequences can be enormous for lack of just a little money. They lose their job. In some cases, they lose their housing. In some cases, Mr. Chairman, they may even lose their kids. But opponents say cash bail serves its purpose by showing we take certain alleged crimes very seriously. What is our state going to look like? What is the state of New Hampshire going to look like? You know, it's going to say there is no, there's no punishment, there's no accountability. Some testified today that any release needs counseling or treatment on the other side, which costs money. Some counties don't have any programs, pretrial programs. Other states that have set up stuff like this have created these programs. They're very expensive. The judicial system allow, announced last week that they are looking at a national bail reform model called Three Days Count to see if any of its components could be used here. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.